Expedition Log, Day 20. With my cart repaired, I have been able to explore the nearby peaks, looking for Narex. So far, my efforts have been in vain. However, I have located a small stronghold that might yield clues as to where Narex is. Only time will tell. Greetings, primates, and welcome back to Thespa. Please, take a load off and enjoy. I've done some work in the background. I've updated our lovely map. I've also done a lot of mining and filled out a good chunk of the super smelter. It's not done just yet, but it's time for Ruprecht to go exploring. Actually, this is just a reason for me to go look for the end. The format I've been following with these episodes, at least I hope I've been following with these episodes, is some form of behind the scenes work, like for example, the copper farm, or the pumpkin and melon farm, and some improvement with woodstone, like the forge or the apiary. In this episode, my infrastructure improvement will be the journey to the end, and woodstone is going to be taking a little bit of a background role this... I'm sorry, I just noticed that stair is wrong. Let me fix that. There, much better. As I was saying, Improving Woodstone is going to take a little bit more of a back seat, so I'll be doing small things here or there. Don't worry, I'm not going to neglect it. What I mean by that is I'll be putting in some decorations off screen. For example, a couple trees here or there, putting in some landscaping and all that, but no major buildings are going to be built this episode. We're off to kill the dragon, the wonderful dragon of the end. Foxes! You're adorable! <gasps> Goats! Hi, guys! <laughs> if you're bored and you know it, mine some coal. Magic floating boulder! For no apparent reason. Other than magic floating boulder. I didn't do anything. You just uh, spontaneously combusted. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. We have found it. Hi guys! I hear silverfish and lava. That works. Oh, but it's completely empty! Not quite. Oh, hi. Yeah, you guys deserve to be in there. What now? Ha uh, that's cursed. That is cursed. That door is effective. Well, primates, we found it! Sadly, I didn't have enough eyes of Ender to get the portal open. So I gotta go back, or at least go into the nether and get some more blaze rods. Oh, hi! Go away, no one asked you for your assistance. Oh, hello! Good old home sweet home. Hi, Jade, you miss me? Alrighty, now where are those blaze rods? The blaze rods are hiding! I know I have blaze rods. This is the problem when you build part of your buildings out of storage. There it is! Are you primed for this, primates? Let's do this. Oh, I hit it! I'm so glad 
Red, they're after the dragon and not me. So that one's after me. Thank heavens for infinity. Zoom. Oh, whoa. Uh, okay, I didn't realize that. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, now I'm curious as to what happens when I look at an Enderman through this thing. Dang it, now all I can see is the static in the purple. It's like when someone tells you, you can, you're always looking at your nose, and then you can't not see your nose. In the comments below, put your guesses as to how long it took me to find this end city. I guarantee you it's longer than you think. Okay, that's that's creepy. The pixels are at a fixed distance from you. So when you're very far away, it looks like the pixels are really, really close. But when you're really, really close, it looks like the pixels are very far away. Their angular di size doesn't change. That's the word I was looking for. That's a little creepy. Cool, but creepy. You guys must have a place of residence somewhere. Please, Mr. Enderman, where's your civilization? Found it! <laughs> now the question is, does this one have a boat? I don't think so. I think it's just a small one. At least I can get shulker shells. Oh, I forgot about that! I can make a shulker farm now! I need to figure out how to do that. I'm so used to clearing these all out. But no, now I have to think. Do I want to kill all of them? Hi, guys! Oi! No cheating. Well, that's the city taken care of. Now let's see if we can find one with a boat. How many shulker shell? Seriously, I get a shulker box out of that? Well, a shulker box is better than no shulker box. I have no idea why, but I'm like, this end stone all of a sudden looks like cheese. That makes me hungry. Which is weird, because I don't eat cheese. If any of you are like, are you prime lost as marbles? My response to that is, no, no I didn't. That implies I had marbles to begin with. Seriously, no boat? Oh, this irks me. Bye. Da, 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 da. Boat. We found a boat. And it's right next to a gateway. Perfect. I'm a happy camper. And I looked at one. Beware the flying Ruprecht. Wahoo! I have wings! Yippee! I will pick up the egg sometime soon. But as for now, the head will suffice. I don't know about you all, but I feel like this dragon head needs a prominent place in the tavern. I mean, someone's killed a dragon! Yeah, that'll do for now. We'll fix it later. Well, with our newly enchanted elytra, I feel it's only proper to get an aerial view. Of woodstone. It's so pretty! I'm so looking forward to getting more houses in here and eventually the villagers. Ah. <sighs> uh, anyway, we have Elytra. It, it both took far longer and shorter than I expected. For those of you who put your guesses in the comments, it took Roughly two hours for me to get Elytra. Well, primates, with my newfound freedom, I've been able to start exploring the world a little bit more intensely. And I'm really pleased with what I've been able to find thus far. I found another village. I even found a witch's hut. That's going to be useful, particularly once I get the apothecary and woodstone up and going. Speaking of woodstone, I have some very important decorations and landscaping to do.
look at how pretty it is. Mm, this makes me happy. I love this tree. Oh, the apiary has just... <sighs> the foliage has grown up and the apiary has glowed up. We've got the bee nest that started it all inside the tree near the apiary and just bees and flowers all over this place. Oh, that makes me so happy. We've gone through and added a path that leads to and from the apiary into Woodstone, connecting it up with the wagon yard and the forge and the tavern. And look at this town center. Mm. Moss, I love you. You were able to make everything look ten times better. I love the little rocks, the trees. I'm not very good at trees, but I'm actually very pleased with how the trees came out. Now all I have to do is finish what's on the inside and make it so that it matches the outside in both the inn and the forge. I've done a bit for the wagon yard, but not too much, and it's more of a carpentry place. Woodstone it will eventually be expanding out in that direction. And I think the next sort of step for Woodstone would be that apothecary I mentioned earlier. But as of right now, this will be it for this episode. I can only do so much with my time. If you liked the episode, please do leave a like. Please leave a suggestion for what else should be in Woodstone. And please do subscribe so that way you can keep up to date with what's going on here in Thespa. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with me. I've been Arya Prime, and I'll see you next time.